Hi, my name's Heidi. I did content creation at Bookable and I just thought that I would jump on today and share with you some top homeworking tips. I predominantly work from home, but I know a lot of people might be finding themselves working from home for the first time. So here are my top tips. I'll try not to make this too long. <laughs> uh, number one, make sure you get a good desk space. Um, I've seen lots of articles saying don't set up a desk in your bedroom, don't set up a desk here. It do some of us don't have the space to have a dedicated office. If it is your dining room table, if it is the corner of a bedroom, if it is the kitchen breakfast bar, it doesn't matter. Choose the best space to give you as much privacy as possible, allow you to concentrate, and if you can, allow you to put your laptop or screen in a position when you won't be looking down all the time. You'll be looking directly straight ahead and in the right eye line. Otherwise, you're going to get neck ache from looking down all the time. I know, I know, I'm looking down at this laptop. It's because the light was bad at my desk. So I'm here in the lounge with this propped up. <laughs> I don't recommend that for a long term working solution. <laughs> so also make sure you choose the best chair you've got that's got some support to it to help you sit up right. Now, we're all just making the best of what we've got at home right now. So if your chair isn't ideal, then make sure you get up and move around. That's my second tip. Stay active. Do stretches at your desk. Get up. Move about. You might not be getting the same amount of exercise, even if that was just walking up the office stairs a few times a day, as you would normally be. There are lots of people going online with free workout classes and stuff like that. You might want to try that. Thirdly, take breaks. In the office, you will have been chatting to people, making a cup of tea, taking files to someone, uh, popping out to get lunch. You will have taken breaks. Um, make sure you still implement those breaks at home. One way you can do that is set a little routine where you work for an hour, have a break for five, ten minutes, work for an hour, have a break for five, ten minutes. Uh, the other thing is, if you're going to have lunch, you should have lunch, uh, then leave your desk. Don't sit at your desk because you will work. You will look at your screen. You will wolf your food down without thinking about it. Um, and overall, that won't be the best for your well-being during the day. You do want to leave your desk, make time for lunch, have a proper break. Think about what you're eating, get some fresh air, have a drink, whatever those things might be. But try to avoid the temptation of sitting at your desk and eating if you can. Uh, if music helps you to work, you're not in the office anymore, you can party while you work. Um, also, if that doesn't help, you don't do that. <laughs> you might find headphones are really great for meetings because they block out all the other noise. You also, if you've got a microphone in your headphones, will make you be able to be heard more clearly in the meeting. Um, you also might find you want to wear your headphones at other times if you're living in a household where there's a few other people at home with you to block out any excess noise while you're working. Sometimes that can be really, really helpful. Uh, don't forget to socialise and keep in touch, whether that be with your colleagues, other small business owners or friends and family. Um, you won't be chatting to other people as much as you might in your normal everyday work. Now you're at home 24-7. Um, so make sure that you do chat online with people. You do see them over Zoom. You do stay in touch. So you minimise how isolated you feel from working from home. Um, that's probably my main top tips. Do what works for you. We're all doing the best we can. Don't forget that you may get things done a lot quicker because you can be focused on a task without distractions for a set amount of time. So you might get to your end of your working day and you can clock off before you normally would. Go for it. Don't feel guilty. Similarly, if you're home with the children and other family members that need your care, then move your work around them. Work for a couple of hours, then do some stuff with the kids, work in the evenings, work while they're watching a film, just do the best you can. No one is really expected to be at the desk nine to five possibly. So if you have the freedom to rearrange your working day, then just go with it. And lastly, don't beat yourself up. If things go wrong, you don't get as much done that you were really hoping to get done. Stuff came up. It happens to the best of us. It happens when you're working in the office. So if it doesn't, it's not a surprise that it's happening at home as well. But don't feel the guilt too much. Don't get too worried about it. These are challenging times. 
make sure you take time for yourself make sure you look after your well-being make sure you take breaks make sure you relax switch off your phone your notifications at the end of the day so that you have some separation between home life family life and work as best you can these are my main top tips if you have other tips that people might find useful put them in the comments below and i will see you all again soon bye